Uh, okay, so the build that I'm trying to work on and also the one that the other streamer might be doing a similar version of is uh, so I'm summoning zombies and the zombies are taking a percentage of their life as fire damage per second with these two up that's a uh, close to 60% per second and got this uh, keystone on the tree that says when the minions drop to half of their life, low life is about half life, then they will deal 33% of their total life as base fire damage, so it, they explode after they get to low life. These this, uh, weapons cause them to get to low life, and these gloves allow me to summon zombies anywhere as opposed to uh, summoning them from corpses because now the zombies themselves count as corpses which then synergizes with necromancers plague bringer and corpse pact so just by summoning a zombie which is also a corpse me and nearby allies deal 10 percent more damage and enemies uh deal 10 percent reduced damage carry that further to anytime i summon a zombie nearby enemies are chilled and shocked and the zombies have another 50% increased maximum life because they are also corpses. And corpse life is obviously uh, helpful, or minion life as well, because that's going to be increasing the base damage of the zombies exploding. And Necromancer over here would also get plus to minion skill gems, increasing the base level of zombies, also increasing their base life, which is going to be increased by the maximum life percentages. So right now at level 48, with ray zombies on a 4 link, minion life, unleash minion damage, using bones of Uller to increase the level here, the minions have 7k base life, each zombie has 7k life. So a third of that being around, what, just over 2k, and three of them, or actually four of them I'm spawning at one time, is going to be around 8k base fire damage. So here's a demonstration on Brine King, however I am low on resist and overall scuffed gear, so, so courageous. enjoy. Such a fine example of womanhood. I simply knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Or my husband. You see, his majesty could never be satiated on his wedding day by one bride alone. Thank you, my new sister. I shall always treasure your company. The damage is very nice, or literally just a minimal investment here. And it's already phased. Resistances aren't great, but I'm using Arctic Armor for freeze immunity and clarity for the mana since the cost is around 68 per cast. We're not casting often though, so clarity is sufficient. Also, what makes zombies slightly better than summon raging spirits is that zombies can draw aggro. So the monsters are less likely to hit you if they're too busy worrying about the zombies that have just been summoned. And that's Brian King. Level 48. He was level about 52 since there's two levels above the area. And I've got lower resist, but I was using a wise oak to bring that up. And death washed clean of dark desire. Damage is good. It's only going to get better, especially once you put it into a helmet, for example, that will have plus to minion gem levels, and then like level 20 minion damage and level 20 minion support, so you can have an easy six, possibly seven link. To get even better. So this is more of a proof of concept, showing the synergies between the items and the ascendancy. Ooh. Hope that was interesting. Thank you for watching. Take care.